All right, guys. So in the previous video, we created a very simple Python program that basically scrapped the title of our quotes website. And how did we exactly scrap the title? was that we took the source code inside this response variable and then we extracted the title tag and then inside this title tag we just wanted the text so we put in two colons and then we added the tag of text in front of it. Now this idea of selecting a particular HTML tag or a particular CSS or an ID inside the source code is known as a CSS selector. So we did that by typing in .css and then typing in the if condition inside the CSS function. So this idea of writing a CSS condition kind of an if condition is known as a CSS selector. So in this video, we are going to be learning about different CSS selectors. So basically, how do you extract this quote from over here? How do you extract this author? You do that by using a particular CSS selector. Now, a very good way to learn about CSS selectors is using something known as a shell inside Scrappy. So what I want you to do is open up your terminal and then I want you to type in Scrappy shell and then we just put in double quotes. If you're using Windows, make sure that you use double quotes. And then inside those double quotes, we are going to be putting in the website that we want to scrap. So for right now, we just want this quotes.toscrape.com and then we can go back to our terminal and paste this over here. So we can just right click over here and paste it. And after that, we can press enter and the Scrappy is going to open up this website inside a shell. If you're wondering what is a shell, a shell inside Scrappy is basically like command prompt for Windows. So shell basically helps us control Scrappy in command line mode. So over here, you can see we got some response from it. It says crawled 200, which says HTTP course.toscrape.com. So basically 200 means that the status is okay. And this website has been crawled and we sent the request and then we got the response variable, which contains the source code. And now we can look inside the source code to find out various things inside that source code or scrape the data inside that source code. So let's actually start by scraping the title just like we did over here but we won't start from dot extract we'll start even from much more basic command so we can just write response over here because this contains our source code and we want to select something from our source code using a CSS selector so to use a CSS selector you just need to write dot CSS and then you need to tell it what do you want it to select so in our case we want to select the title and the title is inside an HTML title tag so we are just going to write title inside a terminal so inside this we can just write title and we can just press enter let's close the quotes and press enter and as you can see it gives us a selector list which has this title tag which says quotes to scrap now obviously we don't want this whole selector list what we want is just this quote to scrap over here so now what we can do is we can write the same thing again but instead of just this over here the statement over here we can also add dot extract because we don't want the whole selector thing we just want this title tag and quotes to scrape text so we can just write dot extract and press enter now as you can see we have the title tag and inside the title tag we have the quotes to scrape text now what if we don't want the title tag we just want the text inside it what we can do is we can just write colon colon and add text in front of it to just get the text and press enter again and as you can see we have course to scrape text over here now if you notice properly this course to scrape is actually inside a list as seen by this square bracket whenever there is a square bracket you know that this is a list now what if we want an item if we want an item inside a list what we have to do is pretty simple just like we extract data from a list we can put square brackets over here and inside this we can write zero because this is the zeroth element inside the list and press enter and you will be able to see that we have extracted the item from the list now there's another way to do it instead of using this zeroth index what we can do is we can just write extract underscore first and this is going to do the same thing this statement of extract underscore first is just going to extract the first item from the list and if you press enter you'll be able to see that this gives the same response just like we did with the zeroth list now the benefit of using extract underscore first is that when we are scrapping a website and if it doesn't have a uh, index at zero if it doesn't scrap anything then this statement of zeroth index is going to return an error but if we are using an extract underscore first and there's no item in our scraped list then this extract underscore first function is going to return a null and thus we are not going to be getting an error actually it doesn't return null it returns 
none and that is why we don't get an error so whenever you can use extract underscore first instead of the zeroth index obviously if you want to extract a second quote or a third item from a list then you can put in one or two something like that now what if instead of just the title we actually wanted something substantial from this website for example like the quote so what we can do is we can just select this quote from over here and we can right click over here and click on inspect and this is going to directly take us to the span class which contains this text item and now we can see that this quote is inside the span html tag and it contains the class of text so what we can do is we can go back to our terminal and we can write down response dot css use a css selector and inside the css selector we can just write hey go and look for a span html tag and inside that span html tag look for this class of text that is the class equals to text to look for this class of text and how is class represented in css it is represented by a dot and if instead of a class this was an id equals to text instead of dot we would have written this pound operator character now instead of uh, because we are using a class we can just use this dot character and then we can write text because we want this class of equals to text and because we don't want this whole uh, span html tag we just want the text from it we can write the colon colon text just like we did with the title and then we can just write extract and we can put in the parenthesis and press enter and as you can see we have gotten all the quotes from the website not from the, all of the website just from this front page now what we can do is if we just want the for example we want the second quote from this list of items we can just go over here and just like we did with the title we can put in the number one because zero is the first index so zero it will be this first quote the world one and then the first item in the list is going to be this uh, the second item in our list is going to be this at first index just like how list functions now we can just press enter and you'll be able to see that we have gotten the first or the second code now we can extract these css selectors and you can find the css selectors like example this span dot text on our own and we don't need a tool for it on simple websites like this quote website but when we are going to be scrapping a little bit more complex website then it's better to have a tool to scrap and to find the particular CSS selectors that we want. So what I want you to do is, I want you to go to google.com and search for the selector gadget Chrome. This is a Google Chrome extension and the first link should be fine. Just open it up and you have to add it to your Google Chrome. After you have added it to your Google Chrome, I've already added it, so I'm not gonna add it again. You'll see this icon on the top right corner called selector gadget. After you have installed it, you can come back to the quote website and let's say we want the author name on this website so what I can do is I can select this icon over here and then I can go over here and we can just go to this yellow box and click on one of these authors so let's say I'm gonna click on Albert Einstein and then you can see along with Albert Einstein Albert Einstein is green but all the other authors have also become yellow and if we go down you'll be able to see that all of the other authors have also become yellow and over here at the bottom it says dot author and it says that 10 of the items have been selected so now basically it's telling us to select all the authors you can just use this class of dot author so let's actually try it out i'm just going to copy it from over here and i'm going to write response actually let me just do this and instead of span dot text what i can do is i can just write dot a u t h o r and press enter and you'll be able to see that we got jk rowling over here just because we are extracting the first index now we don't want just the first index we want all of the authors so i'm just going to remove this index option from over here and then press enter and as you can see we have gotten all of the authors inside our response.css selector. So now I've restarted my terminal by pressing on this cross button because I wanted to give you another example of this very cool tool. So if I go back to the website and I want to deselect all of this, I can just press on the selector gadget again. And then I'm gonna go to this amazon.com last 30 day books section where it has the releases of the last 30 days of books. Now, what if I want the title of the product names of these books on this page? What I can do is I can go back to our selected gadget tool and I can select these titles. Now, as you can see, along with the titles, all of these prices, all of this format and show results for is also selected. And I want to deselect all of the other things. So what I can do is I can just select on one of them. And as you can see, it shows a red box around it because I don't want it. So it shows, hey, 
what kind of things don't you want inside your CSS selector. So I don't want this red box. So I'm just going to left click on it. And as you can see, it has removed a lot more stuff. Now I don't want this yellow thing from over here. So I'm going to select on this again. And as you can see, now we only have the titles or the product names on this web page. So now it has given us this CSS tag of dot s access title. So let's actually find out whether this works or not. The CSS title works or not. So I'm just going to copy this URL from over here, go back to our terminal. I'm just going to open this website on our shell. I'm just going to paste it over here, press enter and wait for it to be scrapped. Now it says, let's see, let's just maximize it a little bit and you can see that we have gotten the response. So now we can just type in response dot CSS, use a CSS selector and inside this we can just use this CSS selector that this tool has given us. We can just copy it and we can paste it over here and because we just want the text so we can just put in colon and co again colon again and we can just put in text and after that put in double quotes again and we want to extract all of this uh, data we are just going to put an extract and press enter and this is going to give us the title of all of the books on this page now what if we want instead of the first book we want the second book title now we can just put in the index of first because we want the second book and this is how lists work and press enter and you will be able to see that we have gotten the second book so guys this is pretty much it for this video in this video we learned about css selectors and how to select a HTML tag or a CSS selector using this tool known as selector gadget. So in the next video, we are going to be learning about another way of selecting the CSS and these IDs. And that way is known as X path. A lot of people prefer using X path for me. I generally prefer using a CSS selector, but because this is a video series, I also want to cover X path. And uh, so yeah, that is what we are going to cover in the next video. So I'll see you over there.